Good morning, Reviteers. So I'm going to do a quick exercise to show you a little bit about how to make a solar tracking sunshade here. So what I've got is I've got a fairly unimpressive, I think, looking set of uh, boxes that define a curtain system here on an arbitrary surface. And one thing I want to show you about it that is a little bit unusual is the way it behaves in relationship to sunlight. So if I go and I turn on my shadows, you can see that well, nothing too impressive here except that if you look inside there isn't a whole lot of sunlight coming in. Well the time of year that I have this set to is for the summer solstice and that would be at least in the northeast a time when you wouldn't want to have really much of any sun penetration coming into this building. So if I swap this out for uh, let's see for winter solstice you're going to see that now you get a very different kind of sun penetration. And the way that this has been done is by getting all of these panels that are on this arbitrary surface to all point exactly to where the sun is. And you can sort of simulate that by adjusting your view until you basically see that none of the shadows are appearing anymore in your view. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can set up a panel to do that. And uh, again, this is going to be one of these things that you can do without any API so to start off, we're going to look at a more simplified environment here. I've just got a regular sort of conical curved surface here. And I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to get a new family. I'm going to make a new curtain panel by pattern. And I'm going to just make a couple adjustments here just so you can start to sort of imagine a little bit more about how this panel is going to appear on the surface. So this would be the vertical surface here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust this point right here and give it a very special property from over here in orientation, which is orthogonal on placement. And that basically means that all of these work planes here on this point are all going to point to the cardinal directions as relative to the family that it's loaded into. This is going to be, you know, this one's going to always point uh, east-west, and this one's always going to point north-south, and this one's always going to point up-down, although we call them front, back, top side. And I'm going to make a reference line and I'm going to put it on the normal plane or the horizontal plane of that point and then I'm going to dimension to it I'm going to dimension between it and you see that that's the vertical sort of a left right plane and I'm going to take that dimension and I'm going to make it a parameter and I'm going to call it um, azimuth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this thing to always be pointing towards whatever the azimuth is of the uh, solar orientation that I'm going to want. And then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to set the work plane to be actually the vertical work plane of this line. And I'm just going to put a model line down there for now. And as you might guess, this one is also going to get a dimension. And you notice that I'm doing it right on the same work plane. And this one is going to be called altitude. Well, now what I have is I have a line that I can control where it points to, um, not relative to itself, but relative to the directions in its host. So I'll show you a little bit about what that means. I can just flex this a little bit and make sure that the lines and the parameters are behaving. And I'm going to load it into my project. I'm going to put it into that simplified family. I'm going to select the surface. I'm going to divide it. And I'm going to pattern it with my new loaded family. And you can see that all of those lines are pointed not relative to the surface, but relative to top down, up, uh, left, right, front, center, that sort of thing. And I can go and I can edit my type to be whatever the altitude or azimuth that I want. 165, let's say, and uh, 23. That's basically where the sun is during um, the, <coughs> the winter solstice. So right now those lines would be pointed directly at the sun for the winter solstice. Now, if you expand that idea, so expand the idea that is that I have one point that is has a line that is oriented 
always to wherever the sun is at a particular time of year. You can use that to basically harness uh, the rest of Revit's geometry to always point in that same orientation. I'll show you the more complex panel. So if I go back to my more complex orientation here, or my more complex panel, I'm just going to select that one panel instance and I'm going to edit the family so we can take a look at it. So this basically just has the same, the same idea. I'm going to just hide my geometry here for a second. Not hide element, I want to hide everything like that. Hide category. Yikes. Hide category. Ugh. Yeah, so what I've got here is I've got that same principle that I just showed in the other family, but I've done it four times. So each one of these points has one of these lines sticking out that sticks out directly to, well, whether it's to the sun or away from the sun. And then what I've done is I've used these lines as a scaffolding to build my geometry on top of. So if I go and I change where I want this thing to be pointing, say, let's just call it 135 and... 45, all of my geometry will go with it and point to it so that when I load it back into my project environment, I can now point all of this geometry directly at the sun or directly away from the sun, and I'll get this sort of shading effect that can be optimized for different times of year um, or depending on where your location is, you know, for you know, whether you want to maximize solar gain or minimize solar gain at different times of year. And uh, I hope that was useful, and I'm going to have these families posted up on the blog. Oh, and uh, one other thing, because I might have gone too fast when I was going over this, is that the key to all of this is one parameter that's kept on these adaptive points over here in the properties. It's orientation, orthogonal on placement. Orthogonal on placement will just control that point's orientation relative to front, back, left, right, up, down. Um, there's a lot of other things to be played with in this orientation stuff, but for now, just check out that one. There's a lot in there.